If I one thing to be going and can do, I speechify, I orate, I express this self. So it was no surprise to anybody when on March 10th in 1931, Scarborough got a brand spanking new debating and, and literary club. So, 91 years ago, the Scarborough Ideal Literary and Debating Club was formed. Now, I had to understand what the 1930s was like in Tobago. There were a lot of the debating clubs and, you know, this kind of club that was formed. So, Tobagoans have a very rich history when it comes to debating. Now, this club was Tobago's leading club. And they had a lot of top-notch debaters. I'm going to put some of the names of the debaters on the screen right here. So Sinler's founder was a man named Lawrence Edwards, but they call him Lawrence of Arabia, which got me thinking. Now this is the movie Lawrence of Arabia that starred Peter O'Toole. The movie was based on a book called Seven Pillars of Wisdom written by this guy, British archaeologist, army officer, diplomat and writer T.E. Lawrence. So I'm over here thinking, was Lawrence E. Edwards white? Was he an Arab? Was he a multi-hyphenate doing multiple things just like T.E. Lawrence? Like, let me know. Maybe it was all of the above because this is a picture of Lawrence E. Edwards and his family in about 1937. Now, this picture is taken from the book Changing Society of Tobago by Susan Craig James. So... If this is 1937, this would have been about two years after he founded Silda. So he's pictured here with his wife and his two eldest children, Laura and Lloyd. So the book states that Lawrence Edwards went to Tobago from Trinidad in 1919. He was a highly successful educator and a tireless activist of the labor, peasant and literary and debating movements. The book further states that Lawrence went to Belgarden EC, which is now Belgarden Anglican, and then he was promoted to head teacher at Adelphi EC, which is now Mason Hall Primary, I believe. I'm not sure on that, but I think so. So it was at Mason Hall that he founded their literary and debating club. But there were literary and debating clubs all over Tobago in the 1930s. You're talking Plymouth, Pembroke, Glamorgan, Charlotteville, Delaford. All these places had debating clubs. But let's take it back to Silda. Silda's meeting place was Peru College, which was the home of Bishop's High School. Their motto was, let your guiding motives be freedom, truth, and general upliftment. They were even divided into how 